I see it on a daily basis what diseases these children have. My drive has always been to translate what I see in children to science and to develop new, better treatments. They motivate me to do something for these children and their parents, and that's what it is. I have a couple of viruses that I focus on. HIV, cytomegalovirus, and then uh, 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 picornaviruses. They are sort of polioviruses, you could call them. And these viruses, they have, they elicit severe disease of the brains. Affecting a child's brain has implications for many, many, many years. So it is crucial to do something about these infections at young age, because then you have, they have a sort of more or less normal life ahead. What I would like is to reduce the time between the design or the development of a new drug and the use in children. Let's say one, two years. And I believe, I sincerely believe that with the use of human organoids, we can reduce that time. That's my driving force. What we do in the lab is that we make a simple version of human organs. And these are called organoids. We make brain organoids and they are, you can see them with your naked eye, so they're like this big. The most fascinating thing uh, I find is that you can really truly look into what is happening. We're working in the context of virus research. That means that, for example, what Lance is doing now, he will be infecting these brain organoids with a virus. You can see what cells are infected with a virus. And even more, you know, within one cell, where are they infected? We can more precisely study diseases. And only if we know exactly how a disease is, you know, how you become ill, you can do something about it. For new treatments or new drugs to be developed for children, it takes on average 10 years or so, far too long. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is that before drugs are being approved for children, they need to go through these phases. One of the phases is animal testing. In my opinion, as a virus specialist, it does not make sense to use animal models because we feel that the predictive value of organoid-based results to the patients are much higher than you know, animal models. To simplify, if my results are good in an organoid model, I trust that these results will also be the same in a child. If only I could increase the velocity of new drugs that are being developed in the lab to the patient. It's going to save lives for sure. Yeah. <laughs>